Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine Ministries. Listen to what 1 Corinthians 7.35 says. This is Paul talking, and he says, I am saying this for your own benefit, so that you may be devoted to the Lord without distractions. Wow. Without, devoted to the Lord, without distractions. See, the devil is trying to distract us from the things of God. He distracts us from prayer. He distracts us from the word. He distracts us in our daily lives to separate us from anything that we want to do and get done for God and for ourselves. It's what he does. Anything he can do to keep us from getting closer to God. He is speeding up anxiety in the world. He is speeding up worry in the world. He is speeding up stress on you in the world. And we need to combat that. The point is we need to be a couple things that we need to put in our lives because we don't want the devil to win out and keep us in stress and to keep us in anxiety and worry and keep us exhausted because that's what he wants to do. Listen to the first thing that we should do. In 1 Corinthians 7.35, he says that you may be devoted to the Lord without distraction. You see, devotion to God, devotion to the Word will help you from being distracted. I know a couple who loves to go to Sunday morning service and they do not let anything distract them from going to that service. They're devoted to it. They love it. They want to do it. So there's not a whole lot that keeps them from that Sunday service. That's called devotion. We need to speed up in our lives more devotion for God and the things of God. We need to speed up in our life to rev up the devotion. The second thing that keeps distraction at bay is a discipline that you have for the things of God. You know, we can be disciplined and we can be devoted in anything in our life that we choose to be. All we have to do is set our minds and focus and focus on the discipline and the devotion. See, the the the, the, the discipline will take you out of a distraction because you can move it back. You can focus on what you want to do. So pull it back in and speed up these things in your life because the devil is speeding up, getting trying to destroy you, trying to put more stress on you, to wear you out, to give you anxiety and worry. We need to fight in combat what the devil is doing. He is speeding up everything in, in the world and in our lives. We need to speed up some things too. So let me pray for you. Oh, Heavenly Father, I know sometimes I get too involved in my own anxiety, too involved and, and devoted to my own stress that I can't see anything else, that it becomes something that I, I just have to throw everything away and just rest. So I'm asking you, Lord God, to speed up the devotion of the things of God in my life. Speed up, Lord God, the discipline for the things in my life so I can focus on you. That I push everything off of my calendar during the day for a certain amount of time to where I can be devoted to you. That way I win and the devil loses. Thank you, Lord God, for giving me inner strength, for courage, for the word of God, for the discipline that I need and the devotion to you, Lord God, that I so love you, Lord God, that you're more important than anything else in my life, which includes anxiety, worry, and stress. But the word combats all of that. Thank you, sweet Jesus, for instilling in me the word of God that's so powerful and gives me such strength and courage. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And go out and make it a great rise and shine day. I talk to you tomorrow.